This is James Holder for Eiffel TV in association with Matt in my bag with me. I've got Joe Ryan Walsh back on the comeback trail. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, good. Yeah, got to say, it's good to see you back in the gym, moving about, looking looking like you're putting a, putting some work in, mate. Yeah, you got to put the work in. We're working hard. Ian's doing his hit the routine on me, so yeah, it's not letting me have a minute break and all the rehab stuff he's doing. It's all working, so yeah. Yeah. You know, to piss some people off next since September. Last time we spoke, it was just sort of as your back went out. You was picking up a good few wins. Your back went out in, in, in against Kelvin Young on the in the rematch. Yeah. Big fight for you. Very unfortunate that that happened. Do you think you can pick up that momentum for where you left off, Joe? Yeah, definitely. With what we got planned and that, yeah, there's no reason why we can't go yeah. out and cause you upsets. So say, I'm happy to fight anyone. Any anyone who wants it can have it. So I don't care. Yeah. My who, record ain't great, but I don't give a shit. Let's go. Who interests you then? Who would you like to fight? <laughs> I knew you were asked this question. Anyone. As long as the money's right, I'll fight. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put some names into your mouth because I think that's a bit unfair. What about Daryl Williams? Yeah, I'll fight Daryl. I'll fight anyone. I don't no, care. I was genuinely playing him. I'll fight, fight, no, I'll fight, I'll fight Daryl, I'll fight Leon, I'll fight anyone you want. I don't care. As long as the money's there, we'll go. I'm not bothered. It's a good attitude to have though, Joe, isn't it? Will gloves will have gloves, will travel. Yeah, it's, it's the business card, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Too many protective fighters nowadays sell tickets, think you're superstars, no one's on the road doing the work. I'll have it with anyone. Let's go. What's the plan of action then, Joe? I know you're back, you're having your, your sort of rehab, you're out running now, you're back moving, it's <laughs> good, you're finding a few punches. When can that, we anticipate seeing you back in, in the ring? That's down to Ian, well, it's down to myself at the minute, um, with the, making sure I do everything I can do, and then we're looking at September. But Ian's the boss, Ian's in charge, so when he feels I'm ready, then we'll go. Back at Super Middleweight? Yeah, be back at super middleweight, yeah. I'm too small for light heavy. I'm probably about <laughs> every weight now, a year out, but anyway. No, it's been, it don't seem like it's been a year. It's interesting how quick time sort of flies when, when you're sort of, well, busy. And I know you've been sort of doing your thing. It don't seem like a year since I've last seen you. No, I think it's been eight months. Has it, yeah? Yeah. I'll do excuse me, Joe. Don't seem like eight months since I've last seen you either. No. Seems to be more recent than that. You, you burn on my retina. <laughs> <laughs> you're a prick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it is what it is, mate. It's all good. Yeah. So what sort of, other than sort of the physio stuff and that, what, what technical stuff have you been working on? I know Lenny Dawes is preparing for a big fight, so it must be good to have him sort of in the gym with your parallel movements and that. Yeah, it's great having Lenny around, but at the end of the day, he's sharp as a fucking razor blade and I'm like blunt at the minute. So at the minute I'm looking sluggish and he's making me look bad, but no, nah, it's good picking things up with him. You pick things up, someone who's fought European level. Yeah. Potentially might get a world title fight. Yeah. Um, you, you're picking things up all the time. You're going to learn, 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 learn. Yeah. I don't think in this game you, you're uh, you're at the top of it. You always got to learn. You've got to learn something new. Or some someone out there will bang you out. We've got some big, big fights coming up. Notably, Vladimir Klitschko, Tyson Fury, or Tyson Fury versus Vladimir Klitschko too. The rematch. How how do you see that fight playing out? I think Fury stops him. He looks m massively more muscular, Fury, than what we seen yesterday. What what are your thoughts on that? I like Fury, I'm a fan, so I think he'll stop him. Yeah. And I think he's got his number, just generally think. Where do you think Klitschko goes from here? If he Retire. Is, if he does have to defeat you, do you think that'll Retire. be him? Yeah. That's it, he's got all the money, he's 40 odd. What, 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 what else you want? David Hayes, Shannon Briggs, how do you see that one playing out? I don't know. You're a fan of Shannon Briggs? Yeah, let's go champ. <laughs> 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 yeah, I am, I'm a fan of both of them, so I'm not too fast if ever wants it. Be a good fight. I've, as Bellew, I'd rather see Hey Bellew to be honest. I think that's more interesting. Interesting, yeah. I, I, I think, think that'd be a good fight as well. I think it'd be a good fight until someone gets tagged. Yeah. What what weight would it be at though? Because I don't see David Hay getting back down to cruiserweight. And he's Bell, he's what's, Bellew a heavyweight. What's Bellew's weight? What, what's his walk around about? 15 stone? Yeah, I'd be doing that at 15, isn't it? 15, 15 and a half. It'd be interesting to see if Hay could actually get to 15 and a half stone. Safely, Indeed. but he looks massive at recently, doesn't he? His last last time he out against Arnold the Cobra Cookie. Oh, well, it's his shoulder injury, isn't he? So he's got to do a lot of strength work to mm -hmm. keep the shoulders secure. So mm -hmm. it'd be interesting to see. I think that'd be a good fight. I think they're both good fights. It's better than the two fights he's had before with I don't know their names and who they were. So yeah, obviously Arnold the Cobra Cookie and Mark Demoray. Yeah. Okay, Demoray. <laughs> they were great. Right, what will you do then? Should you still be working on strength and stuff with the back and sort of? Yeah, everything we do, all the strength stuff, the core stability, stabilisation stuff now. It's more about training clever than just the intensity. Mm. So mm. I'd say I'm, I personally think we've got the best training in the game with Burbridge, so it's down to him. That's right. He yeah. sets the pace and we just jump. 
Yeah, his nephew don't go as well on Liverpool on Saturday, doesn't he? Good, good win, good up, brutal uppercut. Brutal <laughs> who's, that, who's that, Price? David Price, yeah, brutal oh, well, uppercut. Oh, it's Andrew Denoe, is it? Is that what you're trying to say? Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, mate, yeah. Well, listen, I'm not going to take up too much of time, Joe. Thank you for giving iFall TV a yeah, little, no, bit, cheers, little bit of insight to the workings of the brain of Joe Ryan Walsh. He's not much of a brain, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's so hard on yourself, mate. I've seen it, man. We'll catch you soon. Cheers, oh, Joe. Mate. Thanks, mate.